Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael. This is Kyle. And this is our Star Wars The Last Jedi official trailer reaction. Uh, we've waited a long time for this Star Wars trailer to come out. Kyle, tell us a little bit about it. Um, this is the official trailer too, uh, with a more in-depth look of everything that's going on. Uh, we had that trailer one, you know, where Ray's hand touches the ground in the middle of her training with, uh, with, uh, Luke Skywalker. Luke, yeah. Uh, on, on the island. Um, but, uh, this is something new. We haven't seen, I mean, I, th I think we may have seen Finn a little bit, or we may have seen, yeah. I, I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the first trailer in a while. I don't know if we saw Kylo Ren at all. I don't know. Well, that came really out remember. a long time ago, right? That, that was a, that was a Comic-Con reveal. I think, was it Comic-Con? Yeah, I think it was Comic-Con. It was somewhere in midsummer. Okay. Which sounds, which is when Comic Con was. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we got that, and now we got a brand new trailer for a movie that comes out in December. Yeah. Super excited. This one I'm waiting for now. Now, just to confirm, this is the eighth movie at this, this point. This is the eighth movie sequentially. Yes, okay. This is the eighth movie in okay. the overall arcing story. So this is the movie after the Kylo Ren movie. Correct. Yeah. The the this is this is the direct sequel to the Force Awakens. Okay. Whereas Rogue One was a prequel to the first movie, or no, the third movie. No, the the, the very first movie. The ever, very first a movie. New Hope Episode Four. But the that's... third in the series. Right. The sequential series. The, the fourth in the series. The chrono. Okay. The fourth in the chronological series. Right. It's one, two, three, three point nine, which is Rogue One, and then Episode Four, Five, Six. And, and now, now here comes eight. No, now, now here comes we're on eight. Eight. Because yeah, you skipped the, the Force Awakens was seven, and and this one's eight. In any case, super excited for this one because Kylo is already introduced in this one. Kylo is a big fan favorite uh, of a lot of people, um, and is Luke it? Skywalker comes back in this one. So I'm excited to see where he fits in uh, with the whole with the whole world now. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hamill's like 65 years old, so they better hurry up and film these two Yeah, movies. no kidding. He's a... Uh, well, I heard he wandered off the set a couple times because he didn't know he was filming. Uh, that, <laughs> I'm kidding. That is terrible. <laughs> All right, anyway. Somebody slam him in the comments. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, uh, here we go. Star Wars The Last Jedi official trailer number two. Just real quick, oh. as, a, as a reference, uh, <laughs> what did you rate the first movie? What's that? Did you like it? Did, what, what did you rate the first the Force Awakens? Did you like it? I love the Force Awakens. Yeah, it was oh, fantastic. Did? It was almost like I I noticed that it was pretty much a shot for shot remake of the very first movie. But I mean, it had a lot of the same. It had a lot of the same scenes, and it had a lot of the same cinematography in it. The same transitions, obviously. Um, it was very similar to the first movie that came out uh, ever for Star Wars. Uh, but I, regardless, I really liked it. How about you? Okay. Oh yeah, no, I I loved it. I was, I was so impressed with that movie, and I yeah. know like and there, there, there's <laughs> no Star Wars fan like like no one's harder on the Star Wars franchise than Star Wars fans. Like no one hates yeah. Star Wars more yeah. than Star Wars fans. But I yeah. I wasn't like a huge Star Wars fan, but man, I I'm so entrenched now in this in this this new story that that they're yeah. telling with with all these for guys. sure and i am too um super excited all right here we go star wars the last jedi official trailer number two here we go when i found you i saw raw untamed power and beyond that ah. She will now master the uh, lightsaber. Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. You look like you've never seen a lightsaber before. But I need help. Oh. I've seen this roster the only once before. This didn't scare me enough then. It does now. You think she's gonna be evil? Let the past die. Kill it. Ooh. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Oh 
don't kill his mommy. Oh, there we go. This is not going to go the way you think. Destiny. I need someone to show me my place in all this. Oh man! Holy crap! So uh, she's going dark, huh? Baby, I. Uh, <laughs> so, oh geez, there's a lot to digest there. <laughs> yeah, no oh kidding. God, God, that looks so cool. That that really gets me like super hyped for Star Wars. Like, as if I wasn't already hyped yeah. enough for a new Star Wars coming out in in the order. I'm I'm super stoked for this one. Do Do you think that trailer may have revealed too much? Because there is some conjecture about the trailer revealing too much, potentially. Like, I think the director came out and said that he was afraid that the trailer was too uh, revelatory. What was revealed there? I mean, that Ray might go dark? Was that? that Ray might go dark and that Kylo Ren... That's a teaser. Have... Of course that's going to be... Now, what would have been revealed is if they answer the question there, right? If she goes dark or not. But teasing if she's going to go dark or not, that's not a revelation. That's another question. What about, that's... What about Kylo Ren killing uh, Leia? Like... Again, he did. We don't know if he does it. So again, it's another teaser, right? That's that's the whole point of a trailer. It's to tease. Well, you know, that you was know, a tease. Carrie Fisher passed away, right? So this is Leia's yeah. last movie. So I. So maybe they had a rewrite that he did. Well, I don't, I don't. I don't think they, they they didn't rewrite anything. Her her death was was after filming was complete. Uh, so yeah. they didn't have to rewrite anything anyway. Um, but whole okay so. Let's talk. Uh, yeah. That was... So when Snoke's talking in the beginning, he's talking about you're super powerful. He thinks It sounds like he's talking about Kylo Ren, but maybe he's talking about Rey when I found you and then she was abandoned on a planet, maybe? I'm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that it's Kylo Ren that, she, that he's talking about. Okay. Um, just because, obviously, evil to evil... Um, and I like to think light to light type of thing, Skywalker, but you know, it's kind of a cool little, um, it's kind of a cool little side internal conflict that Luke sees all the power that Ray has and he's scared of it. And he sees almost. Darth Vader. He sees Darth yeah, Vader. Yeah. He, he's scared of it almost. He, you know, can see her going to the dark side, but in that first movie in the force awakens, we didn't see an inkling of her going to the dark side at all. She's a good character. She's, you know, a light character. Right. So, um, I mean, and, and I think at the end when, when Kylo's holding out his hand for her, I think that's just a twist. I think that's just a teaser in the movie. I think, I think she's going to come back with an obvious, I will never side with you or, you know, something of the sort. I don't know. I think, I think that's just a teaser for the movie. I um, I'm going to go ahead and call. He does go through and kill his mom, Leia, um, because he had no problem killing his dad. So he's a, all of a sudden becomes a mommy's boy and not you're, a daddy's you're, You said boy. he has no problem killing his dad? He had, he had a very big problem with killing his dad. Like, he it doesn't a, matter. He did it in cold blood. Whatever. No. Had a, had a big problem. He still ended up doing it. So well, whatever. Right. But he struggled with the decision. And that was the thing. He struggled with the decision to do that. So And then at the end, he said, thank you, and then killed him. For, for making that decision for me. Thank you for, you know, I had a conflict. For helping me Thank get through my conflict. Exactly. So he chose. He chose, right? So that was so, his decision. I think one revealing thing is Luke says in the trailer, this is not going to go the way you think it is. I think maybe they're directly talking to the audience and Ray's not necessarily a good guy and Kylo Ren's not necessarily a bad guy. Like, they can swap. Like and, and you've because you've seen good in Kylo Ren or at least the struggle with light and dark in Kylo Ren, and Ray's been avoiding, uh, you know, her power the entire time when when she gave back the um, the lightsaber initially in the Force Awakens to Maz Kanata, uh, 
uh, she gave back the lightsaber and didn't want any part of it until she was really forced to do it. And then she kind of realized she has all these these powers. So, and they talk about Snoke's manipulation of Kylo Ren a lot in the first one, that Snoke has been manipulating Kylo Ren and, you know, Harrison Ford, I'm here. Ob- uh, Obi- why am I thinking Obi-Wan? Uh, Han Solo. Anakin? Kept, oh, oh, yeah. Han, Han Solo. Solo kept saying, Snoke's clouded your mind and everything, so what if the cloud lifts from Kylo Ren and Rey is the one who gets corrupted? So we're going to have a character swap, Rey's going to be bad, and Kylo I, Ren's going to go back to being good? I, I think that would be a great twist. I think Rey being the evil one the whole the, the whole And you saw Finn. Finn was in a, a dark uniform with the stormtroopers again after he fled the stormtroopers in the very first yeah. movie and fled the yeah. first order. He w- he was back and now he's either a spy. Yeah, or... he's, I'm thinking he's a, he's a, he's got to be a spy. He's got to be an infiltrator. So yeah. so I'm gonna go with the layman. I saw the first. I saw the seventh movie right, and uh, I'm gonna go with the easy. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with the easy flow. No twist, right? You know, Ray's good. Kylo's bad. Finn is a spy. For, that's but they're, they're all teasers, right? That all that that trailer all fits within my narrative, um, but I think it lends credence to the possibility of a uh, of a double switch, like a a twist ending, as it were. But so yeah, I, think it could I will be. say this this trailer seemed a lot darker than the first movie. This this made it seem a lot more yeah. conflicting in the in the, in the first movie was. Yeah. The, uh, it looks really good. The first movie looked very, uh, to me, it looked more lighthearted than yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, you're right. To me, it looked more lighthearted than this movie. This movie looks like it's going to get into the, get a little bit more gritty, get into a little bit more depth in the right. storyline, a little bit more character development. Right. Um, and I'm excited for that. I think, uh, yeah, to, to learn a little bit more, to have Kylo pay a little bit more of a role in this movie, I think would be really cool. To have Rey have uh, have some more conflict i think would be good in this movie well it's um, it's interesting because it looks like ray is struggling to find her place and kylo ren is mm-hmm. struggling between light and dark and that's going to that's that's going to they're, they're going to meet somewhere right they yeah. this, this is going to happen like like there's going to be a collision of both these characters at some point in the movie and i i mean this is the second movie of three movies i would not be surprised if Ray goes dark at the end of this movie, by by the end of this movie, I would be surprised. You would be surprised if Ray went dark. If I, I of course, I mean, I would be okay. Maybe not surprised because it's a twist, right? Darth Vader, you know, Anakin ended up started off being good, and then he became, you know, Darth Vader. So obviously, within the world of Star Wars, it has that potential to flip flop like that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily okay, fine. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised because it's definitely a possibility. From uh, from previous. Would you be surprised if Kylo uh, Ren was the hero? If that would surprise me, yes, that would surprise me. Seeing as how he's already killed a couple of the main heroines. Well, I mean, so, it's, it's, if so, in order for him, in order for him to, in order for, in order for them to develop a storyline in which he redeems himself from killing the heroines of the previous movie into being a hero in this movie that's going to take a lot of work and a lot of storytelling in order to get kylo to go from the obvious villain of the last movie to being the hero of this right movie. but but there were hints and bread come bed breadcrumbs that he was not just a straight villain that he, he wasn't evil or had malice yeah. or anything that he was struggling yeah. to figure out where he belonged much like much like this trailer sounds I like i mean Ray yeah is. for sure but he ultimately ended up killing you know hanso right. he ultimately ended up killing a bunch of the in the first opening scene he, he killed uh, a ton of those people so um It'd, it'd be a long road to redemption, I think, in order for me to walk away from this eighth movie. If that's the path they go, it'd be a long road to redemption for me to walk away feeling like Kylo had been satisfied, you know, as a hero. I don't think so. I I, I can totally see him being a hero. I could totally see him just coming to save the day. I mean... That could be a possibility, but that wouldn't rather, that wouldn't rectify all of his previous misdeeds. Is what is what's telling me. It wouldn't but, leave but, me satisfied. But, 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 as an it, but it also member. wouldn't be out of left field because you've seen him struggle in the first movie with it. Yeah, I mean, sure, they could they could do that. So are you saying? Are, we, are you that, saying that that good guys can't do bad things and that bad guys can't do good things? Because this this reminds me like a lot. of... Yes, like, this is a very black and white universe I live in. Good guys do good things. Not, bad guys do bad things. It's, we don't even know if this is our own universe that this takes place in, so we don't know. But uh, what if this merges with the MCU? How crazy would that be? This stop, was like stop, stop right now. <laughs> um, 
No, there, there, but I, I think there is a lot of nuance to the character of Kylo Ren, and I think Adam Driver portrays it very well in a way that Anakin, that it was was never seen in the prequels, uh, with you know, or at least it was it was it's it was jarring in the prequels. It feels very natural with Kylo Ren in, in these movies. Um, no, I, I that that I hundred percent agree with you. It's a very natural yeah. flow, Dude, with but Kylo I, I, Ren see, and Rey as the protagonist. See, and and this. I like the conversation we could have here because we're talking about the movie and how it affects and we're talking about characters and everything. And if this was a bad movie or potentially a bad movie, we'd be talking about box office numbers and will it do as good as other movies and everything. But exactly. so then I, I think the thing that we can agree on is that this is this looks like it's going to be an amazing movie and I can't wait yeah. to see it and I cannot be any more hyped for this movie right now. The mark of a good movie is its ability to create a story and tell that story and I think there's no shortage of that ability within the Star Wars especially this movie within the Star Wars universe this is this is my movie of the year I'm looking forward to this is bet more yeah. than Wonder Woman more than than any Infinity Wars that's next year oh okay I see so more saying. than Thor okay. Ragnarok no more than anything this 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 is more than Ragnarok really. I, I, I yeah oh yeah for sure uh, more, more than side note. Side note: When I was at Disneyland, I saw in a, I went to Disneyland this past weekend, guys, and I got engaged, which is awesome. Um, oh, thank you! It was in front of the castle. Show us it the was ring. really, it was really dreamy. It's right here. Oh wait, no, that's not me. Um, in any case, uh, while I was there, we saw an extended scene of Thor Ragnarok. Uh, which was super cool. Made me super duper excited to see the movie. Um, but in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the uh, Star Wars uh, The Last Jedi trailer reaction we have here. Um, please comment, subscribe down below. Also, let us know what kind of movie trailers you want us to review uh, or anything else you want to let us, uh, anything else you want us to do. Um, let us know. We're, we're getting set up here. Obviously, obviously, you guys can see we got a brand new mic set up as well. We're starting to get things rolling and getting good. Kyle's uh, away right now, so we're doing this remotely. Um, so we apologize if there's any audio errors or any video errors. I'll try to clean that up as best I can. Um, and in any, in any case, guys, as always, this is Michael. This is Kyle. And this has been a critique on the universe of trailers. Later.